in today's video I'm going to be showing how we store Legos in our house, how we organize them. My son doesn't have a ton of Legos. He has about maybe one to two thousand Legos, but you can imagine that without a simple storage solution and organization, those can end up all over the house. Stepping on them, it's not going to be fun. So I researched a way to store them and organize them by color, and I'm going to be showing you that in this video. I'm really excited. This is just a really simple solution, um, something that if you don't have a ton, and even if you had a lot more Legos than this, then you could still use this same organizational um, tool and it's going to be really helpful in storing your Legos, getting them out of the way so that kids know exactly where they go, where to put them. They have uh, no questions. They can do that. Even my three-year-old can do this really easily. She helped with the original organization and putting away. And so here we go. So I start out with a pile of all of the Legos. They are obviously all mixed up all of the colors so I'm going to take and what I actually do is to put them in the order of the rainbow so I take the reds yellows and oranges because we're going to go in the color in the order of the rainbow Roy G Bibb so red orange yellow and that's what I'm going to do first is take the reds yellows and oranges and then I'm going to throw in pink also because obviously pink is a version of red. So.
odds and end pieces that go towards like doors and things, I like to put them in with the gray, black, and white pieces. So obviously they, um, this is obviously white, so that's easy to figure out where it's gonna go. But um, like this door, I kind of like to keep it with the other pieces that go along with the doors. So I'll put it in with the black and white. So we organized the Legos in the order of the rainbow. So the top drawer had red, orange, yellow, and pink because that's part of red. The second drawer had green, blue, and purple. And then the bottom one had all the black, white, and gray pieces and then odds and ends pieces that went along with the doors and wheels and things like that that are just like accessory pieces that go along with those. So that's what we did. Um, as you can see, my three-year-old also came and started to organize with me. She really enjoys doing that. Um, it's so, it's fun for the whole family. This is something that even moms can use as like a sensory type activity or even for identifying colors and sorting. This is a really fun activity um, to get the whole family involved. So you can just dump out all your Legos if you're comfortable with that and you can go ahead and start dividing them up. You can have the kids divide them into sections. Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, and violet. So that's your, your blues and your purples. And um, just really have fun. So I hope this video was helpful. This what has been really helpful for our, our family to keep all the Legos in one spot and to have everything organized. And I've really enjoyed this system. I can easily just tell my son, hey, have you got your Legos picked up? He can go in there, pick them up, put them in the bin that they go in and the drawer with the color that they go in. You could even put like little label stickers on each one uh, for younger children or for children that have kind of a harder time remembering which ones go where. But um, my kids just easily go in, put them in the red, orange, yellow, the green, um, blue, and purple, and then the gray, black, and white. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more cool videos like this one. And we will see you next time.